Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Boku no Hero Academia, aka My Hero Academia, Chapter 33. Alright. And we officially learned the nature of Shinzo's quirk here, alright? And for the most part, it's what we thought it is, alright? He, Anyone who responds to him will fall under his control and get brainwashed. Alright, however, it won't work if he doesn't will it to, which. Um, I, I, I would like more specifics regarding that little clause there, because what, what does that, like, what does that even mean? Like, the, does he have to consciously want it, or does he have, is it enough to be, is it enough to unconsciously want it? Like, the, like, is just the desire, or the, is, is the desire to control someone enough, or does he have to, like, legit focus solely on trying to control this person? To the point where he can only utter out like a couple sentences while Midoriya is under his control. Okay, like is it like when, like because if 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 it doesn't require focus, then I don't really get the point of adding that clause in there. Like, would he ever be put in a situation where he needs to use his quirk to control somebody, but he doesn't want to? Like, but he tries to anyway. Like. I mean, that would be that would have to be like a crazy like psych like psychologically speaking, it would have to be like like this crazy scenario that I haven't really seen yet in the series. Um, so, uh, maybe or maybe maybe he could be in a position where he wants to he tries to control someone. However, he's afraid of what might happen to him if he were if the person catches him so he unconsciously does not want to control him or her and because of that his ability doesn't work despite the person answering him or responding to him maybe it could be something like that but again it would have to be something like with those super villains before okay um, and and for Shinzo, a guy like Shinzo, the way, with his personality, for him to be like legit freaked out like that would have to be like some it's like crazy, some crazy scenario. Which I mean, the fact that they did add that clause in there shows that they are going to take advantage. I say they, it's 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 one guy, Horikoshi, but um, the fact that he did add that clause in there means that he is most likely going to take advantage of it at some point. But it's just it's just hard to imagine it happening soon. Like it would have to be like way down the line, so that we can actually get enough development with Shinso. All right, which I'm sure we will get more development with him. He'll probably be he'll probably end up getting transferred into the hero section just because his quirk just does not. It just was not compatible <laughs> with with the test. So um, and that's and that's why he gets screwed so much. But. Um, yeah, he he'll we'll, we'll definitely be seeing more of him, right? But uh, there's another thing that uh, another disadvantage of his of his quirk, which is the fact that physical and physical contact can actually break his control over the person. So that's I mean that's that's definitely a big negative right there. I mean like <laughs> like it I, even accidental contact, you know. So you can like someone could be like. With binoculars could be looking at you from like a while away, they just like throw a rock at you or something, and like that would break their <laughs> break his control over you. Like that, that's like like I obviously I just made that up off the top of my head. If I had actually thought of a legitimate example, it would have been better than that. But like you know what I mean, like it's you know it, it's not exactly the best type of mind control if it can be broken it would just like it <laughs> like a tap or something, you know. Of course, though we don't know how much contact it takes, but still, you know. It's it's still a pretty big negative, all right. If 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 you if you don't know what his ability is, the chances are you're gonna get completely wrecked. But if you do, then freaking Shinzo is the one in trouble, all right. Unless your unless your name is Izuku and you are just incapable of keeping your mouth shut, but <laughs> but you know whatever. If if it's really easy to goad you into speaking and yelling at somebody, then then it doesn't matter if you know know what his ability is. The answers are you're gonna lose, right? But um, speaking of Isaku, it, it looks like he's pretty much screwed. 
right? But as he's about to walk out of the ring, he sees the past users of One for All. Okay. Yo, like, th like this is like, like now we're entering in, into a territory that like I don't think anyone thought we would we would actually get to. All right, like if if this quirk evolves like what what if this quirk evolves or he gets it to a point where he can like access the powers of the past users or something like like entering the avatar state or so like that would be so freaking epic you know like if this dude izuku enters the freaking avatar state and starts using like the combined power of like all of the past one for all users or if he can like talk to them to get advice or something like suna did with primo you know, or or Korra with like Avatar Wan. No, actually, no, not really. That she didn't actually talk to. Him. Well, like like Ang did with like past Avatar. Like uh, what's his face, the Fire One. All right, like all right. You know, like if he could, if he can talk to past past Avatar. <laughs> no, I'm even calling them Avatars. <laughs> if if could could talk to past, to past users of One for All. All right. Or access their power to the point where he is essentially in the avatar state. That would be epic, all right. All right. Or if he, if they can do what's what happened in Hitman Reborn with Suna and Primo, and like he gets like this through his contact with them, he's able to make one for all his own kind of and like the special, the special like add on. To the power that like each person has their own unique, their own unique like add-on where they could each make the power their own kind of like, like maybe something like that could happen. All right, oh, this, <laughs> if if I go through all the show and I see just pick situations where this kind of thing has happened, I can come up with a bunch of different ways that this could go. But the point is that all my he's he's this dude's got some explaining to do. All right, that's the point. This dude's got some explaining to do. All right, and I expect that this is going to that this conversation is going to happen sometime between these rounds. All right, sometime between this, because I don't feel like Isaac is going to wait. All right, he's probably going to just go to him right away and ask like, "What? What was this? What happened? You know, like, what, what's going on? What did you not tell me about this power?" All right, um, so that's that. However, this chapter ends with the current round of the tournament ending because after Izuku snaps out of this control and he breaks his finger, all right, he, I mean, he goes back and forth with Shinzo for a little bit, but he essentially just arm drags him slash suplexes him, just like swings him over his shoulder so that his ankles land outside the ring and Shinzo ends up losing, which, I mean, it's... <laughs> Not it's not exactly the most epic way to lose. Like this was actually pretty lame. Like <laughs> like the art was great. Don't get me wrong. The the way it was drawn, it looked really cool. Like, some of the facial expressions that Midoriya was making, they looked really cool. You know, but Shinzo's facial expression when he got <laughs> when he got swallowed over, like he looked like a loser. Like he legit looked like a loser. Like, this was just not a good way to end the fight. Like, it, it just was not good. <laughs> it just, like, it, it's actually kind of disappointing. Because he would think, like, it's like, Shinzo strikes me as the person who understands his own weaknesses, right? He understands what he needs to do, right? So you would think logic would, would like, if, 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 if he's even the least bit logical, he would think to himself, well, look. There is a chance that I can be put in a situation, a giant chance, I could be put in a situation where my quirk does not work, okay? And if I'm in a position where my quirk is not going to affect somebody, I need to be able to do something to win anyway. So I should train myself in other areas, like physically, in order to maybe have a chance against this person, all right? Kind of like what Tatsuya Shiba did. Okay, for those of you not familiar with him, Tatsuya Shiba is the main character of the irregular magic high school. And he sucks at pretty much everything involving magic. Okay, because it's a magic school series, all right? He sucks at pretty much everything there is to suck at <laughs> in magic. Except for this one area where he's incredibly OP. Okay. But because he sucks at, like, 
everything, it's hard for him to be in a position where his OP, his his overpoweredness could actually help him win. All right, so he realizes that he's going to be put in situations where that's not enough, where his specific type of magic, which is decomposition, where that's just not going to be enough. So he's going to need something else, which is why he decided to go train with the freaking ninja so that he could, you know, increase his agility, increase his physical strength, increase his just combat, his combat skills in general. All right, so this is what this is what I would have assumed that Shinso would do. He would recognize his weaknesses and know that he has to compensate for them in some way. So just like Tatsuya did, he would go and train and try and increase and, and better himself physically and increase his physical combat skills so that if he was put in the situation, he could at least have a chance at winning. All right. But this dude Shinso just said, like, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> you know, apparently because he just got wrecked by Midoriya. All right. Like, in, in really lame fashion, no less. All right. So... I mean, I'm not, I'm not telling Shinsa to go find a ninja to train with or anything. Like, I'm not telling him to like have a crossover with Naruto and, and everything. But like, yeah, he has to do something, all right? He, he's got to do something here, all right? Because this, this is just not going to cut it. Because this is just, uh, it's, it's just so disappointing. Like this dude Shinsa, like, he got hyped up. And then he like has that stupid look on his face as he has, has his feet cross the line. Like it's like it's just disappointing because I expected him to at least have the sense to know that he has to compensate for his weaknesses. But hopefully that's something that comes with time. Again, I feel like we're def this is not the last we will see of Shin. So he's gonna get transferred to Class A to the hero course. So we will see him more most likely, and we will see him develop. So hopefully. He realizes that he's got some work to do, All right? And maybe his power will even develop, just like Midoriya's. Maybe he, maybe his power will evolve to a point where he doesn't need to have someone respond anymore. Maybe he can, you know, evolve himself like physically to the point where he doesn't need to rely on just his quirk in order to win. Like, may, so there, there's there are still chances here. You know, I'm not giving up on Chin, so I'm not hopping off the bandwagon or anything. I'm just saying, you know. Bandwagon's not exact. It's it's not as high. It's not as as luxury as I thought it was. You know, it's got it's, it's got some scuff of marks and crap. You know, it's not it's not as good as I thought it was. But it's, you know, I'm not jumping off yet. It's I'm still satisfied, right? For the most part. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not jumping off the bandwagon yet. All right, but um, overall, I'd say this chapter was it was. Yeah, I'll 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 give it a seven point five out of ten. All right, because we we did. There was a bunch of disappointment with Shinso and how that fight ended because it was just not, it was just anticlimactic, really. I mean, it just wasn't really that good of a finish to the fight. But at the same time, we got this reveal that One For All, the current user of One For All is legit connected to the past users of it, which is a big deal. Plus, like I said before, the art really was good, like, or great even, right? So I'll, I'll give the chapter 7.5 out of 10. And that's that, you guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.